Folks, we're here at Dyson, and they have a new air purifier heater combo. And what's cool about this is the party trick on this, it looks like, is over here, you'll see there's a screen, and it's going to tell you kind of what particulates in the air that it's filtering out, which is uh, usually a particle counter or something that even analyzes it is a separate gizmo just to see that you need an air purifier but this actually has it built in because it's Dyson and they're going to be innovative. So let's see, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna put some hand sanitizer on and see what happens. VOC with a little chemistry thing. It's really a volatile organic compound. That's really a. It's been it's here. stuck in there. Everybody's been in here. Yeah. It's like five parts of a couple of this, and you just swap it out. Yep. Yeah, just green here. That's cool. So they're going to walk me through what is inside that air purifier. Right. We're trying. Yeah. So this is the screen that measures, and then this magnetized this magnet remote has always been always been kind of a cool idea, so you don't lose your remote. So you have your fan control right there. You can see it's on 10, and it's hard to hear in here with the. Uh, with the convention going on. But it, it appears to be fairly quiet, but again, it's hard, it's hard to tell in this big open hall. And there's an oscillating button, all sorts of stuff on there. They have a sleep timer, it looks like. Uh, all sorts of things like that. So let's see what's inside. How do you get to the filter? What's the filter maintenance like? Let me turn it off. Oh, that was fancy. So we have a HEPA filtered medium, and is that rated at H10, H14? Uh, number ways, I'm not sure, but it's 99.97% of all particulate matter. So that would be H10, yeah. Okay. So lower than an IQ Air or something, uh, higher than like an Auric, uh, uh, what do they call those, a Truman cell. So and then you have a, is this a carbon scrubber? All right, so we got a carbon filter. So this is, this is going to be good for smoke stopping, uh, people who have allergies against uh, all sorts of random plastics, off-gassing their house, all that stuff. Uh, so that's cool that they are doing the carbon filter. Um, that, that's, this is the important thing to do. Why this is important, this is, this is really more important to offer. So how often do you maintenance these filters? So normally, uh, just the last year, we use it 12 hours a day, we use one year. Or 24 hours a day, six months. So six months is the filter life. I run my air purifier 24 hours a day. Uh, at night, sometimes we run it a little higher. Okay. Uh, and what square footage is this thing rated to? Well, we don't have a particular square foot rated, uh, rated, what should I say, rating. But the way we tested these, uh, using our polar test, is in a 290 foot square, 290 square foot room. 290 foot square room? Yeah. So it's a really small room. Yeah, most purifiers are tested in 180. So give everybody an idea how small that room is. Their booth over there is much bigger uh, than that. So that's really small. Uh, so like my house, 6,000 square feet. Yeah. I would need a lot of these to get the job done. Well, since ours actually project yeah. clean air and have fans built into yeah. them, most purifiers don't, this will circulate the air in your home. So actually it'll build well, any mo size of them. Most of them are circulating air in some sort. Like well, they need ceiling fans. Most, pur most purifiers need fans. Well, like uh, if you look at an IQ Air, it does 1,200 square feet, right. and it's moving 300 CFM. This moves about, I want to say our, uh, our tire no, moves about 600 and it's about 630 CFM. So that's a lot. And now when I'm measuring CFM, 
with this? Are they measuring it with, when you pop this thing off? Or are they measuring it? No, I believe it's with the resistance. Yeah. Because the way this this one is, uh, it's 77 gallons per second, which is about 600. 77 about gallons 600 per something. second. Okay. This is 66 gallons, so it's a little bit less. Okay. That's cool. Yep. And the different shapes, are they for different size rooms, or are they just different shapes for... These two are, are based the same performance, they're just different, uh, like if you want a desk versus the floor. Versus the floor, okay. This one is the only one that has a heater, too. That's got the heater, too. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's kind of cool to have the heater be the same thing if you need a space heater. Yeah. Uh, and okay, I'm going to ask the, the question, what is full retail right now on all these? The retail is 649 for the, the heater unit. 649 649 Our wow. tower one is 549 549. Our desk version is So they're about competing maybe with Austin Air more in terms of the market. Yeah, right. Uh, all right. That's cool. Um, well, thanks for showing me that. Yeah, you're welcome. Just stick with that's, that's essentially what we do. There's only like five parts that come yeah, like this nice. and you just swap it out. Yep. Yeah, just me. Why did you guys decide?